Hi everyone, welcome back to another logo animation tutorial. In this video we will cover 10 most common tricks in After Effects. After watching this video you will be able to give a life to your ideas. These tricks are really easy to master so you can start using them right away. As always you can download the After Effects project file and vector file in the description. So open the vector file as a composition and let's get started. Select all layers and create shapes from vector layers. Then create a background and organize your timeline for more comfortable workflow. Picking colors for layers will later help you to find them. So hide the all the other layers and let's start with the sheep layer. Before revealing this element we'll use two circles. So create first circle and match the color with the logo element. Choose the dark blue color for the second circle. Now select these layers and press Ctrl Shift D to cut them. Ok, let's start with blue circle. Press S for scale properties. Add start keyframe, it will be its initial position and the second keyframe will need to scale it up until it fits the whole screen. Then copy this keyframe and paste it a bit further. Adjust the last keyframe value to 0 so our circle will disappear. Next select the all keyframes and press F9 to ease them. Adjust the graph editor similar to this one. Now select the pen tool and draw a motion path for our circle. Make sure this path ends where our circle is placed. Then search for path and put a keyframe and copy it. Then select the blue circle layer and press P for position properties. Simply paste it and our keyframes will appear on timeline. Next adjust the graph editor similar to this one and we'll have a smoother animation. Now let's take a moment and preview it. Looks ok, so let's animate the yellow circle. But first let's fix the layers in the timeline for better timing. Now put scale keyframe and move it until the end so it will be the last position. Then adjust the first keyframe value to 0. Then move the timeline indicator further and scale up the circle. This will give a more dynamic reveal to our element. Then copy this keyframe and paste it a bit further. Adjust the graph editor similar to this one and now let's see what we got. Now let's create an animation for the ship layers. First cut the layers by pressing Ctrl Shift D. Then put a scale keyframe for its last position. Put another keyframe in the beginning and make it bigger. And then copy this keyframe and paste it somewhere around here. Now press F9 for easing the keyframe and adjust the graph editor. Now let's add offset path effect and put two keyframes. First will be with the amount of zero and the second will be until the shape disappears. Next apply the same steps for our second ship layer. Now let's preview it. Next from effects and presets look for CC Bender effect. Apply this effect to our ship layer and adjust this anchor point here. Now click stopwatch for amount and press U to reveal all keyframes. Now put the second keyframe and adjust the amount and make the ship bend in the right side. Now copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Then adjust the amount and make it bend to the left side. Then copy start keyframe again and paste it at the end so it will be our end position. Lastly adjust the keyframes for the better timing and let's see how it looks. Also adjust the blue circles disappearing timing and we're good to go. It looks nice and smooth, so let's move forward. Then create a circle, adjust start length and end length to 100%. Next increase the stroke thickness. Now let's make this layer 3D and we can start rotating it. From transform properties adjust the X rotation value. Then adjust the orientation to rotate our circle. Now place it in the middle and let's add trim path effect. For the trim path effect we will need 4 keyframes for end and start. Start with 0 from end properties until the 100 and the start property will be the same. This will create a line animation. Now ease these keyframes and adjust the timing. It looks nice, so let's bring up the other logo elements. For revealing these shapes we will also use offset path effect. So the first keyframe amount will be until the shape disappears and the last will be the zero. Now copy this effect and select contents for other layers. Simply copy paste it and we have animated all shapes. 
Again, let's adjust the timing of this blue circle disappearing. For blue shape reveal, add the scale properties from 0 to 100. Adjust the graph editor similar to this one and let's preview the animation. Next, let's bring up other logo elements. This time we will use Math Reveal technique to create our stroke animation. Press G for pen tool and start drawing over our stroke, make sure it overlaps it. And next we will add trim path effect. Use two keyframes for end properties from 0 to 100. Then ease the keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Choose the layers math option to our animated stroke and it will apply it to our layer. Next create null object and parent this layers to our null object. Add two scale keyframes for our null object. First keyframe will be our last position and it will be the same and the, another keyframe will be our start position and we will scale it up. Press F9 to ease the keyframes, adjust the graph editor and apply the same steps to our other stroke layer. Next, to animate our last logo element we will use scale properties. We'll need three keyframes, first 0, second 110 and the last one is 100. Now let's take a moment and preview the animation. For the strips and this shape I also used offset path effect. For the flower element I use scale and opacity properties. We will need two keyframes, last will be our initial position and the second will be our start position which we will scale it up. Finally for text layers I also used offset path effect but created null object and then parented them to our null object. From here simply scale properties again from up to its initial position. And that's it for today's video, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed the content. I'll see you in the next one.